Um, well, let me ask Steph Curry that, the Golden State Warriors guard. Being married help you as a basketball player more so than when you were single? Oh, yeah. I got married uh, three years ago, so it's been a pretty, pretty good ride <laughs> so far uh, professionally. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good, DP. How you doing? Uh, decent. Decent. Uh, that who, works. Who's your favorite football team? Carolina Panthers, the hometown team. Oh, okay. All right. You want to play wide receiver for him? We could be. We, we might have a shot. Did you play football? Uh, Pee wee football. So I was like eleven. That and then was, what, was there a moment where you, mom said no? No, that, I was. I played running back, and um, in <laughs> practice, there was this on my team. There was this, you know, top tier linebacker at our age, and he uh, he didn't, you know, take it easy on his teammate when I came through the middle one practice, and that was all I had, all I needed. Uh, if you looked at, could you give me a great football team out of basketball players? We need eleven guys. Yeah. There's just well, okay. Uh, let, let, let me do quarterback. Who's your quarterback? I actually put myself in there. I, I, I like. I got. I got a decent arm, decent aim, assist guy. Wait. So you're you're a Cam Newton like? Are you uh, a Michael no, Vick? I, 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 I could I could I could get out the pocket every once in a while, but I I, I like to. If I got enough uh, talent and athletes out there, I like to just stay in the pocket and throw it. All right, who's your running back? <sighs> Nate Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> I might have him as my um, Darren Sproles type. There you go. Yeah. All right, who's who's your tight end? LeBron. Ooh man. All right, your uh, your wide receiver. I'd have. Uh, ooh, I like Kevin Durant. Um. Who's another good wide out? Uh, I'm blanking on another wide out. Kevin Durant, especially, you know, red zone, just throw it up to the corner, let him go get it. What about um, DeAndre Jordan or someone like that? That'd be solid. So he actually can move pretty well, so that'd be solid. I, I was wondering about this with this whole uh, Kevin Love situation. It, uh, how often did you talk to Clay Thompson about the possibility with his name being mentioned that he could be traded for Kevin Love? Uh, a few times. Um just to see where his head's at. He actually took it pretty well. I, you know, those rumors come around every, obviously every summer of free agency and teams, you know, trying to get better. Um, and you, it's going to be hard at some point in your career to avoid it. So he took it well. Uh, obviously the trade, our trade didn't go through and uh, didn't happen. And, and they, you know, keeping our core intact. So um, I know he's, you know, pretty happy with uh, how things turned out. Well, did management consult you? Uh, yeah, they asked my opinion. Obviously, you know, with a guy like Kevin Love, that's some, uh, you know, great, great power forward. You know, the numbers that he's been able to put up in his career are huge. Um, it's just a matter if you think, you know, that move will make you um, better as a team. Um, I didn't have an answer for it because, you know, you're giving up a lot to give him. But, uh, you know, not my decision. Would you have done it? I don't think you can give up Clay. Um, for Kevin Love? Make that happen. We have such a good core together. You got David Lee, Andrew Bogut, who's a great front line. If you put pieces around them, um, you know, we were a great team last year. Um, and, you know, put the same core together another year, we got to get better, right? So that's the mission. I got to prove, I got to hopefully prove that that, uh, that message right this year. Hey, Steph Curry, Golden State Warriors guard. Uh, your reaction when you heard LeBron was going to Cleveland? I was actually pretty surprised. Um, you know, I, Thought he had, he had a good thing going in Miami and could try to figure out a way to get you know some more support in there around you know the big three. But um, I'm sure there's no better feeling than, than going home. Um, and uh, you know he made I guess you know what he thought was the right decision for him. So uh, you know, can't argue that. Who's a better offensive player, you or LeBron? A better offensive player, me or LeBron? That's the first time I've ever been asked that question. Um, me. Okay. <laughs> Got to be right. I, well, I, I don't know. I I would assume you would think that you're a you're a pure shooter. Um, I he can score. You can too. But I I think if it, it you know what the correct answer is probably LeBron is a better scorer, but I think you're the better shooter. So if how's that? He, he, yeah, I, I don't I don't know because he uh, you know he obviously d demands a lot of attention on the floor. Um, but I like to say I can distribute, you know, get get my teammates involved. And what about just putting points up? As well? What about points? What if I said you go out and score as many as you want in a game, and LeBron goes out, who scores more? 
I like to say my shot would help me in that situation. As a matter of fact, I get a double team, I can hopefully shoot from farther out than one. <laughs> uh, the Paul George injury. How did how does how did that affect you initially? Immediately, uh, it shocked everybody in the in the gym that was there. Obviously, all, all of you know the guys dressed up in uniform playing. Um, me personally, you know, brought up you know all, literally all my surgeries and injuries I've gone through in my career. Obviously, nothing to that level. Um, but you know, anytime you see that in person, it just it just shakes you up really 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 bad and. Um, you know, a couple of days afterwards, you know, just kind of regrouping and assessing, you know, the situation and, and how you feel, and how you process it. Because you know, playing Team USA, obviously, we know we're putting ourselves at risk to, you know, playing you know extra games and representing our country. But um, you can't ever imagine that something like that's going to happen. And it's, you know, obviously. So unfortunate, and hopefully, you know, he makes a, a full recovery. Um, but our our mission now is to win the gold and and, uh, and do it for him. Was there any thought of you not playing after that injury? Uh, I had conversations for sure with my family and uh, people that I trusted to kind of give me some guidance because, you know, like I said, it, it shook us up so bad that uh, you just kind of want to regroup a little bit. But at the end of the day, um, the opportunity to represent your country, play the best talent in the world, um, hopefully – you know, like I said, win that gold, um, continue the dominance that Team USA and USA basketball has had in the last, you know, nine, ten years, and, and that's uh, I want to be part of that. Okay, but if you're the owner of the Warriors, do you let Steph Curry play? Well, I'll talk to them, too. They're very supportive of whatever I want to do. That's 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 what I want to hear, you know. It's kind of my call. Because um, I wouldn't I'm want sure, you to play. I'm sure, I'm sure if, I, if I said I'll do whatever you guys want me to do, they'd say <laughs> no. But uh, that's not the case. Uh, you're making the rounds in New York today. What are you doing today? I'm here putting uh, some, some media guys and some editors through, uh, through a workout, part of uh, the degree men, um, you know, motion, motion, sorry, I can't talk, motion sense uh, promotion. So we, uh, and we put, I'm going to be on the other side of the, of the coin today, putting those guys through the workouts and making them sweat and putting, uh, you know, the degree to the test. And, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, you know, we, don't, we don't hold back when we work out, so I hope they're ready. Yeah, I noticed you didn't invite a real shooter. <laughs> I got I got to work out the kinks of my program and I'll invite the uh, the real talent. I make degree sweat with my jumper. Well, degree will continue to work hard and make sure you're you're right on the court. All right. Uh hey, uh, tell your dad I said hello and uh have a fun summer, safe summer, and we'll talk to you when the season starts. Sounds good. I appreciate you. All right, Steph Curry, visit uh, degreedeodorant.com, find out more about uh motion sense technology.